Hello everyone, I'm Alison from the Early Years Alliance and in our session today we're going to look at making our own stories that are special and unique just to us. But first, I think we need to get to know each other better by singing our hello song. So we'll sing it twice in case you don't know it and remember you need to get those waving hands ready. Hello all the boys, hello all the girls, Hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. Shall we sing it again? Hello all the boys, hello all the girls, hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. So today we're going to tell a story differently using some props that we've found. And remember you might find these in the house or the garden or the park or maybe a special trip to the seaside. It's entirely up to you what you use. Now, sometimes it's nice to tell a story about you and your family. And that's what I'm going to do today. It's a chance to share a memory and help children feel connected to the special people around them. This is a story that my mum told me when I was a little girl. That was a long time ago. And I told the story to my son. And I hope that one day he'll share the story with his children. It could be like a thread connecting all the generations together. So, shall we have a look in and see what I found to put in the story box? Now, the first thing I found is a picture of me when I was a little girl. You see that? I'm going to put that there. And the next thing I found is some very shimmery, sparkly fabric. I'm going to put that there. Now I've also found some dark blue fabric. I'm going to put that there too, because I meant to make this look like the sea. Now, what's this that I found in my box? It's a fish. You see it? They swim in the sea. So that's where I'm going to put my fish. Mm, now, what about these? I found some seashells. They're very pretty and beautiful. And I'm going to put those out too. And what about this seashell? This is very special. This used to belong to a creature called a sea urchin. I'm going to put that there too. Now. This is something I found on the beach when I went on a trip there. And this is some sea glass. Very precious. And the last thing in my box is a mermaid's tail. You see that? It's lovely and sparkly. I'm going to put that there too. Because we need a bit more room, I'm going to move my box out of the way. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Now. If you're sat comfy, I'll tell you the story about the magical mermaid that my mum told me on a trip to the seaside. One day, I went to the seaside with my mum and dad. I was so excited. It was a very long drive, but I didn't mind. I got a new bucket and spade and I'd been promised an ice cream. I'd already chosen what sort I wanted. It was chocolate with rainbow sprinkles on the top. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. We spent the whole day at the beach. We built some sand castles and we jumped over the waves in the sea. The water was really cold. And the sand castle was almost as tall as me. We had a picnic for lunch. We had some sandwiches and some fruit. And I got to have my ice cream. Can you remember what sort I wanted? That's right. It was chocolate with rainbow sprinkles on the top. And after lunch, I sat snuck up in a blanket with my mum. And she told me about the magical mermaids. She told me about the mermaids that live in the sea swimming with the fish and she said that if we were very lucky we might see the flash of a shimmering tail in the waves 
she explained that we had something very important to do before we left the beach. She said we needed to make a mermaid in the sand. And that's just what we did. And I helped my mum by decorating her tail with beautiful seashells. And I used sea glass for her eye and seaweed for her long mermaid hair. The waves were getting closer and closer, so we had to be quick. And we had to pack up all of our things before the tide came in. As we left the beach, my mum and I stood and looked back at our beautiful mermaid in the sand. And she explained about the magic. You see, it's the waves that bring the mermaid to life as they wash over her seashell tail over her sea glass eyes and over her long seaweed hair. Soon she would be able to swim in the sea with all the other mermaids. And if we were very lucky, we might see the flash of a mermaid's tail in the water. Now since that day, whenever I've been to the beach, I've always made a mermaid in the sand so that she too could go and swim with the other mermaids in the sea. And I know a song about mermaids that perhaps we could sing together. You might not know it, but we'll sing it twice. And to make it easier, it's to the tune of Frere Jacques. And there are some signs that we need to learn. And the first one is swimming. You have a try, swimming. And we need a sign for the sea. You have a try. The sea. So if you're ready, let's sing our song together. Mermaid swimming, mermaid swimming in the sea, in the sea, splashing and splashing, splashing and splashing. Look and see, look and see. Should we sing it again? Mermaid swimming, mermaid swimming in the sea, in the sea, splashing and splashing, splashing and splashing. Look and see, look and see. Thank you, and thank you for listening to my story today. If you'd like any more ideas, why not look at our website, www familycorner.co.uk. There's lots of ideas and advice on there. And perhaps you could make your own story box about someone special in your family. It's entirely up to you, remember. The stories are yours and can be whatever you want them to be. Well, time for me to say goodbye. So shall we finish by singing our goodbye song? Remember to get those waving hands ready. Goodbye. All the boys, goodbye, all the girls, goodbye, everyone. It was nice to see you here. Should we sing it again? Goodbye, all the boys, goodbye, all the girls, goodbye, everyone. It was nice to see you here. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye. See you soon.